Body bags line the dock on the Italian island of Lampedusa, while a body bobs in the water in video provided by the Italian Coast Guard. The boat, which Italian authorities say came from Libya, may have been carrying as many as 500 passengers from Somalia, Eritrea, Ghana and elsewhere when it capsized. More than 150 survivors were pulled from the sea. But the dead may outnumber the living. By sunset, the Coast Guard was reporting almost 100 dead while divers found more bodies underwater. Tens of thousands of refugees and migrants risk the perilous voyage on barely seaworthy vessels that ply the waters between Lampedusa and the North African coast. They put them on um, crowded, overcrowded boats. Um, they, they put them on, they attach engines that are absolutely not made uh, to, uh, for such a long and dangerous journey. There are definitely too many lives lost and definitely too many tragedies in the, in the Mediterranean. Barely a week passes without fatalities. Monday, 13 migrants drowned off the coast of Sicily. Italy has declared Friday a day of mourning, and Pope Francis broke from his prepared text in a speech at the Vatican to express shock over the disaster. Preghiamo insieme Dio. The word that comes to my mind is disgrace. It's a disgrace. Let us pray together for those who have lost their lives, the men, women, children, and their relatives, for all the refugees. In July, the Pope met with refugees in Lampedusa, blasting what he called international indifference to their plight. Italian officials say that if the weather holds, the search and rescue operation will go on throughout the night. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Rome.